Tunisia's National School Meals Program targets some 240,000 children in 2,500 schools. Fully funded by the national government, Tunisia's investment in school meals totals 13.2 million US dollars per year. For many pupils from rural areas, the school meal represents the only chance to get a nutritious meal during the day. However, at almost 80% of canteens, meals are snacks that are served cold. More often than not, a school meal consists of a simple sandwich with harissa chili paste and sardines. What if the children could get a nutritious, balanced hot meal? What if this healthy meal could use local, homegrown ingredients and be cooked with traditional recipes? In order to implement an innovative, sustainable approach to school meals, the Government of Tunisia has requested the United Nations World Food Programme's technical assistance in the design of a pilot, which aims to prepare about 1,500 meals per day to be delivered from a central canteen to surrounding satellite schools. World Food Programme has developed guidelines on nutrition and hygiene for all schools taking part in the National School Meals Programme. Children in schools participating in the pilot will benefit from a nutritious lunch which will cover 30 to 40% of their daily nutrition needs. In partnership with the Ministry of Agriculture, links will be fostered with local smallholder farmers groups to promote the use of locally produced foods and to enhance local development, especially through the creation of revenue-generating opportunities for rural women. 30% of commodities will be purchased locally. School gardens support nutrition and environmental education and will be leveraged as hubs to promote community participation, demonstrating to children and families how to adopt a more nutritious diet with fresh vegetables and fruits. Unemployed youth will be encouraged to establish small transport companies in order to distribute the hot meals in isothermal vans especially fit for this purpose. It will take the combined efforts of the national and international communities to provide healthy, nutritious meals for children at school. Government, international organizations, NGOs and the private sector all have a crucial role to play in encouraging the country to look after its schools and children. The Government of Tunisia has set forth the education sector reform with the aim of improving school life, which will in turn promote the children's love for their land and nation. Through this innovative, integral approach, school children will have class in the morning, a nutritious, locally produced lunch at noon, and will participate in cultural and recreational activities in the afternoon. This is the recipe to nourish hope for a better tomorrow.